liked it. I promised myself to not really buy too much yarn while I'm on exchange. Yes. Did I just buy some yarn? Also, yes. Hey, hey, here I am back again. And if you hear something weird in my voice, it's because I've been sick for the last few days. It's not COVID, but my voice is just not that ideal. But I felt like going out of the house again today and I want to visit some yarn shops here in Grenoble. I've been here now for over a month and I haven't visited a single yarn shop here, which I think is so not like me to do <laughs> but i've just been busy with other stuff and also trying to save a bit of money and stuff like that but i feel like today it's time to get out of the house again and what is a better excuse to get out of the house than to go to a yarn shop so i did text some of my friends that also knit here i don't have that many knitting and crochet friends here but i texted them so we'll see if they want to join and if not i'm just going by myself and that's fine as well First, I need to get some lunch because I didn't eat so much today and then I'll go outside. It's again a rainy day, so that feels like perfect weather for going to a yarn shop. And look at the socks I am actually wearing right now in the house. They did, like, look how much they've started to bleed out and uh, peeling, but I've been wearing them a lot, so it's pretty normal that that happens. But they are my beloved little strawberry socks. <laughs> And speaking of wearing knitted items, I'm of course also wearing my re-knitted sweater. It's the Louisiana sweater pattern by Petit Knit. So I swear this was not intentional to wear so many knitted items today, but it's just a colder day, so that naturally comes to me then. Have you ever looked in the mirror and not seen yourself? Like you got lost somewhere along the way. Or maybe you just need some help getting back. But that's not something they tell you these days. I never wanted to be that girl. But I'm stuck on this girl street. And my smile won't come but my hair. So All right, so this is the sweater I'm working on at the moment, the zipper sweater, and I'm almost done with the first sleeve. So I wanted to try it on to see how long the sleeves are right now. And if I like the length and everything, hopefully I don't get any stitches off the hooks. This is the thing that I love about raglan top-down sweaters, that you can try them on in the meantime. Well, actually... Yeah, I think lengthwise is gonna be good, since there will be like 14 centimeter ribbing still, and I did want to have a pretty long sweater. Oh my god, there's yarn everywhere in my mouth. So cute, I still really like the color. And then in the end, I installed the zipper in here and it's gonna be incredibly cozy, I think. And actually size-wise, I think the sleeves are good. I like that they are a little bit loose since that's like the overall fit of this sweater, but very happy with it. So I went on my way to the city center of Grenoble and in the end all of my friends had some other plans and stuff going on so I decided to just take myself on a little solo date and it was such a rainy rainy day but I don't know I kind of always like the vibes of that. And in the city center there was actually this cow and sheep festival going on. So there were some stands actually selling some yarn, which was really beautiful, but all the yarn was sold in hanks and right now I don't really have the possibility to um, use a wool winder, so I decided to not buy any, but they were very, very pretty though. Mm -hmm. 
I also stopped by this secondhand bookshop where they had some very very cute postcards as well. And then I finally went to the yarn shop. It is called L'Anne Tricot uh, in Grenoble and it was so nice. I really like the store and yeah, I'll definitely come back there again. They had a lot of nice yarns there and the people working there were very sweet as well. It's a few days later and I thought of showing you what yarn I got exactly from the yarn shop and also of showing you my progress on the zipper sweater because I did finish the sleeve finally. One more sleeve to go still but I'll show you it later. So let me first find the yarn and I did put it somewhere in my big yarn basket here. <laughs> I have this really big basket here in Grenoble with all the yarn that I have. A large part of it I took with me from the Netherlands, but now I've also bought some yarn. It's in this cute IKEA one with cats on it. Really nice. And on top right now is my sweeper sweater that I will show to you in a few minutes. But first, let me see where is the yarn. Yeah, I found it. Where is the rest of it though? here it is so the yarn I have bought I bought four skeins in total and they are two different brands but it is this is Camaro's Midnight Sol I think you pronounce it that way and this is Fonty Nimbus and they are both in this, I really love this rusty orangey color, really, really gorgeous. And I want to make a beanie with this. Let me look up which one it was that I wanted to make with it. Because I saw on Instagram a really beautiful one. It's the Winter Cable Head by Strike Sofa. And I really like it, it's very beautiful. And I've been wanting to make a new beanie or a hat or something while I have been here because I brought one with me that is very cute. It's a very cute um, knitted hat that I made uh, last year. But I wanted to make one again uh, to have a second one to variate with. And I felt like it's a perfect smaller type of project that I am in the mood for right now after a bunch of big sweaters and then I have some socks. But yeah, I felt like making a beanie. So that's what I brought the, bought the yarn for. And like I said, the color is really my thing. I love rusty, orangey type of colors and it goes really well with my scarf and my coat and stuff like that. So yeah, I can't wait to make this one. It's one with cables and I haven't knitted cables in a while, I think. So I'm excited to knit some cables again. I always like doing cables. It's very fun and on a smaller project like this, especially it's uh, it's good to have something less boring, basically. So that's it for the new yarn. I Like I said before, I really liked the yarn shop. I thought that Lene Tricot was like really a beautiful store with a lot of nice yarns and yeah, I just had like a really good vibe to it. So I'll definitely be coming back there again uh, during my time here. Not too often though, not so good for my wallet <laughs> because the yarns they do soon there are a bit more expensive and luxurious yarns but yeah really really nice ones now let's get to the last part of the video before i forget my coffee i need to drink it 
this always happens when I'm filming that I forget my coffee completely and or tea and then it's completely cold. I finally bought a French press, a coffee coffee machine kind of last week and it's so nice to have coffee in my room here. <gasps> Amazing. Should have done it earlier. <laughs> but let's put it on. I think maybe I I am wearing by the way my camisole number five. This is a full video where I'm wearing knit fits every single day. Normally my life is not like that. I would say I wear something knitted often, like always a few days of the week I wear my own knitted items, but definitely not every single day. But um, yeah, I like it a lot and yeah, I am cheating a bit like showing the strap because I'm wearing something over it, but let's try on zipper sweater. I did really briefly try it on last night when I finally finished the Italian cast off for the one sleeve but let's try it on again because it's now in daylight and it feels weird wearing my hair loose when you have a collar this big in a sweater yeah really happy with the length it's like like i said before it's quite long in the end i did make it i think 12 centimeters instead of 14 since i was uh, feeling that it was already gonna get pretty long and it is like it's covering most of my hand but i really like when you have ribbing that you can just cuff like this and it's still really nice now i just need to do a second uh, sleep after this to finish it and then install the zipper but i told that already before and also look how cute the stitch markers are that i use for the sleeves they are these daisies and yeah this is a little bumblebee so cute <laughs> so i think i will and the video here with my coffee in a matching color oh my god mm. so i'll end it here i hope that you enjoyed watching let me know what project you are working on uh, since i always love reading your versions of stuff let me know if you go to your local yarn shop very often in the town that you live to live in if you have one, if you don't have one, like how do you shop for your yarn and stuff. I love hearing those stories as well. And if you liked this video and want to see more knitting type of videos from me, subscribe to my channel because that would help me a lot. And then you can see exactly when I post it again, which is really nice because I am chaotic and I'm not posting every single week at this moment. So I really, really hope you enjoyed watching. Have a great week ahead of you and please stay safe. I love you all a lot. Doei! I think also that this mountain view, it's a bit cloudy right now, so normally I can see even more mountains, will never ever bore me. I mean, as a Dutch girl, it's amazing to live in the mountains now.